Hi, this is Alan Cho. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use burst and damping in emitter. As you can see, this is the code from previous example, which is, sim uh, which is a simple particle effect with a single source at the center of the stage. Now, first, I want this particle source to follow my mouse. So in this main loop, I'll type s.x equals emitter.mouseX and s.y equals emitter.mouse oh, oops, mouse y okay here this particle source is, is following my mouse and what I want is when uh, is that this source remains in active until I click my mouse and it bursts out several particles so first I'll turn off the source S active equals oops active equals false. And now you can see this source is actually turned off. And I want this burst to happen when I click the mouse, so I'll add a stage event listener. Mouse event click burst and function burst. I'll call the sources burst method and, and I want it bur to burst out 10 particles oops here's a typo burst okay but as you can see it only bursts out three particles instead of 10 specified here. This is because the actual particle count that bursts out by a source is the product of the particle rate and this parameter passed here. And clearly this particle rate is less than 1. So I'll make it 1. So the product of 1 and 10 is exactly 10. So now when I click the, script, uh, click the Swift file, you can see it bursts out ten, exactly 10 particles at one click. Now I'm going to turn on the damping option. So this particle decelerates through time. And the spread range is too small. I want to make it bigger, wider. So I'll tweak up the speed parameter to say 20. Okay. This is wider, but I want the taste of randomness of its range. So I can change this speed var. This var stands for speed variation. Actually, this there are you can tweak many per, uh, properties variation just by adding this var at the end of the parameter name. For example, uh, remember we have that scale parameter and if we, if we add a var here it means you are changing the variation of particle scale. Okay, and I'll change the speed variation to 10. So the speed of a particle ranges from 10 to 30. The standard is the average is 20 and the variation is 10. Okay, so you can see some particles they go further and some go nearer to the cursor. And, and I wanted more particles to be bursted out so as to show the spread. So you can use this as a fireworks effect if you want. Okay, now this is the end of this tutorial.